Okay, so an example of calculating the energy of a mole of photons given the frequency. Okay, so another variation on the problems that we've been doing. Okay, so let's remind ourselves of our equations here. And the first one is that the energy of the photon as it relates to the frequency is h times nu. Okay, so where nu is the frequency. All right, and let's also remember that h is Planck's constant, so it's 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. All right, and also reminding ourselves that hertz is actually seconds inverse. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and calculate the energy of one photon first, and then that will allow us to calculate the energy of one mole of photons. Okay, so energy of one photon is Planck's constant times the frequency, so let's go ahead and plug that in. So 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Okay, and then let's go ahead and plug in our frequency. Let me get that a little bit closer here. Erase, erase, erase. Okay, and so let's plug in our frequency and so we can we go up here and we see that it's 1.3 times 10 to the 18 hertz. Okay, and then we, we know that hertz are actually seconds inverse, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, all right, so think about what units we can cancel out here. All right, so the energy of our photon, we want it to be in joules. And we see that we can calculate, we can cancel out our seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that calculation. And when we multiply Planck's constant times the frequency, then we're going to get 8.61 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. Okay, so that's a pretty high energy photon there. All right, so now how much energy would be in one mole of these guys then? Okay. So let's go ahead and remind ourselves of Avogadro's number, okay? So whenever we're thinking one mole of something, we're thinking 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of them, okay? So remember, Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, whatever you're, it is you're looking at it at, you know, in this case it's going to be photons per mole, okay? So again, this could be particles, anything, okay? So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd photons per mole in this case, all right? So the energy of this one mole of photons with this rather high frequency is going to be 8.61 times 10 to the negative 16 joules because that's the energy in one photon, okay? We're going to multiply it by Avogadro's number because we have we actually have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of them. Okay. Go ahead and erase that. Okay, so we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of them. So that's going to be photons per mole. Okay. And also remember, so I mentioned that this is the energy of one photon, but let's go ahead and just make that really clear by putting in joules per photon. Okay, and now we're ready to cancel out photons. Okay, we're going to end up with joules per mole. So this is going to be the number of joules per mole of photons. Okay, so we are going to end up with quite a big number. All right. So it actually comes out to 5.18 times 10 to the 8 joules. And we have two significant figures. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 5.2 times 10 to the 8 joules. Okay. And we want to convert that to kilojoules. Okay. So if we do that, we have 1,000 joules, 1 kilojoule. And we're going to end up with 5.2 times 10 to the fifth kilojoules. And that is lots of energy. That is 520,000 kilojoules. 
Okay, so lots of energy in that one mole of photons.